You guys are ugly and we're pretty. We make it clap. Okay, Este, once again, first <laughs> first noise out of the gate. She uh, makes it clap. We brought Este back for an episode because, mm. you know, we just needed to add a little level of... Um, um, I don't have my neck brace on today. Say yeah. it. Um, I wanted to compliment you and say sex appeal, but oh. then I wanted to insult you and say... Re- <laughs> okay, well, okay. a mix and balance of both. Yeah, it's- I mean, I guess you can be sexy and have Down syndrome. Like, there are is, some are there, sexy ones. There are some sexy t- out there. Listen, on the, the on, sexy- the on the love is a spectrum. Love in the spectrum. Love, love in the spectrum. Love, love, yeah. love, spectrum. love on the spectrum. Love on the spectrum. Love on the spectrum. No. Oh my God. It's, that show is incredible. It's uh, an, go ahead, Esther. You describe. Is that it. TLC? Isn't it on Netflix now? Oh, maybe. Um, it's an amazing show. That's so like. Is it a dating show? Essentially. It's um yeah I mean, it's, a, guess, it's right? I don't know how it's legal because Curl, no, you explain it. Well, you're such a good storyteller. What's well, like? <laughs> so oh, imagine everyone on the show is on the spectrum, <coughs> autistic. <coughs> you hold the weed. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Everyone on the show has some degree of autism, <coughs> and they put these people on dates. Uh huh. And it's two autistic people on a date together, usually. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I don't think they cross pollinate normies with the uh, the autistic kids like I, Estee and I do. But mm-hmm. the show's kind of like I can't believe no one's protested this show because of all the things people can protest, like the the people on the left. I would think that they'd be like, this is some sort of like. It just feels like a carnival show, right? You're just watching it and you're like, we're here to really kind of just laugh at it's this. It's like making right? fun of fat kids. Like, yeah, right? right? It's not like, it's not an endearing show. Like the show, they picked, you know, they didn't pick, they, all the autistic, because they applied reality TV principles to this, yeah. which is like, we're going to find the most out there autistic people because that makes better television, right? So it feels kind of cruel, but hilarious so it's if amazing. it feels like kind of cruel it is it kinda is cool. no but it's kind of hilarious a lot of people like our friends they watched it too and they're like it makes me so like emotional and they're happy that they found love and then Kirill and i are there then it's really entertaining and it's also kind of like awakening because i'm like i'm kind of similar Dude, it's kind of wild and you know what <laughs> Kirill's like i'm dating this yeah like it's everyone laughs at it i laughed at it but then i'm like I cry a little because Este could go on Love on the Spectrum easily. But then they're like, you know what's weird? And I wish we had laptops hooked up on this episode, but you guys can Google this or just watch the show. There's a really crazy moment in it where you just watch it and you're like, they're trying to exploit their autism, but right. like we would all act the same way in the situation. So basically these two autistic kids, they're all young too, right? They're, yeah. they're probably early... 20s? Late teens, late teens, late teens. Yeah, late they're, going, teens, in, like, they're going in their twenties. It's 20s. hard to tell because autistic people are like, you know, like they look older. Did they look? Well, I don't know. They kind of they look younger to me because they act younger, right? Like they have the. Unfortunately, they're more like children than adults. Undeveloped. Sometimes. Yeah, so like Underdog. you kind of feel like these are two kids going on a date, and then maybe they are in their twenties. But whatever, they go on a date. Do they go to the zoo? Remember. Mm. Oh my God. They go to the zoo and like. That's crazy. They're just walking down through the zoo and he's making like really bad small talk. Like, oh, you know, like, what's your, you know, in the autistic voice, they're, they're like, what's your favorite oh, now? It's, it's more deaf. It's more deaf. But up. like, you know, like, they're like, they, they talk different. We they're can admit very, it. They're very, like, a fact. blunt. They're, they're blunt. Just... They're awesome because you need an autistic person in your life because it's like having a mirror, right? Because mirrors don't lie to you. And an yeah. autistic person is just like, if you could just have one in your pocket, you'll, you'll be the most successful person ever because you're never surrounded by a yes man. Right. They're always going to give you the... Yeah, it's, correct criticism. Yeah, it's literally and it's just relatable like relatable as fuck. Because you're like, I would be that awkward person to be like, dude, what kind of conversations can yeah, you have? What are you gonna, these, What am I supposed to you guys say with that? A lot with autistic people. Well, like, right? what do you go, you go to the zoo, do. Val? You go to the zoo with, with a girl. This is your first date at the zoo. What the fuck are you supposed to talk right. about? It's gonna be like, what? Those what's lines your are cool, animal, right? Like those <laughs> lines look cool. Oh yeah, they do look cool. <laughs> and you're watching this, and you're like, it's adorable. Like yeah. This is funny because they sound so dumb, but then you're like, that's 
what a date at a zoo should sound like. What yeah. is it supposed to be like, yo, check out that fucking, look at that horse's penis over there. Like, I'd be way worse. It's crazy be, that we I, got to the level where you guys are entertained by autistic people. <laughs> You're just, gonna watch yeah. the show. Well, we watched incredible. everything yeah. that like, and then someone was telling us about this and I'm like, Jesus. I can't even believe that exists. Me. Yeah, it's crazy. So there's one girl, she's like, she, and she's, is that the witty one? Yeah, you're I like, love you're her. like, she's not even autistic. She's just very motivated Blunt. and just talks a lot. Yeah. And she's just like, yeah, you can tell she's in her late, like late twenties, maybe thirties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, uh, I don't know, Filipino, Asian-y, Mexican mix kind of thing. But like going on. super professional. Yeah, like very and like, real... I, yeah. She's like, wants a career. I don't, she has some career. I don't know what she does, but she goes on a date with another guy. And the other guy is like telling her, I forget what he's talking about. But she, you could tell, just re- she's just boiling. In, in boiling with like, oh my God. As he's about to go to the bathroom, she just looks at him and goes, I love you. <laughs> oh my God. And then he's like, I have to go to the bathroom. He leaves to the bathroom. And then she's just like, oh my God, did I like, you know, I just had to get it out. Like, yeah. And you're just like, yeah. How is she any different than half the fucking porn stars I meet who are like one guy, like, you know, coughs in their direction and they're like oh my god she I was think also I love this guy. broke up with him because he wasn't as uh career Motivate? driven as she yeah. was she's well, like i'm trying to make things happen ve- yeah if you ca- like, if you thread the people right people know like yeah. where every train stops and yeah, like, I yeah. yeah. The, and, and it's like that's the difference Random. it's up to the parents to mold that autism into like a ceo energy or yeah. like oh he can draw them all of new york she by had, memory and you're like well i can't CEO make money off of that energy. no autistic people are i think uh superheroes I, yeah like i kind of want cool an autistic child i want an autistic kid because i could train him to that or her into the energy to become really successful, right? Because like a lot of autism, <laughs> train a lot he, of, said uh, <laughs> he doesn't want to train a regular kid, but no. he wants to train an no, autistic kid. No, because an kid. autistic kid already has a gift, right? Yeah. It's just how you channel it. Because like f- most people fuck it up and they're like, autistic kid, kid could just be like, I know how many seashells have are at the seen- beach, right? And you're like, I can't make money off of that. Yeah, but, but you're basing this off of like autistic kids they found that are polished for a TV show. Have you ever seen autistic kids? No, I know. Right? It's a lot, it's <laughs> like a this lot dude is like work. coming on himself. Like it's every a three lot minutes. of work, and they like run away. There's I don't, autistic just, kids that are literally sitting there like this for well, just twenty minutes. Well, you just let. You like, just I've let, never you seen just, that. You just let. You know. Geller worked with autistic people. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's and he just said that parents. they would literally just hump the trees. Like, yeah, this. but you gotta find. There what? should be a draft. We should have an autistic, <laughs> autistic kid draft. draft what about, and let's send them to school. Give them, those people should bro. be getting scholarships to Harvard. Not like rich white kids. Like we should really hold an annual. Like we have spelling bees. Why don't we have like an autism off and be like, yo. You, 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 you're probably going to be, and I'd invest in them. They should be like stock. I'd be like, I guarantee you she's going to be a CEO. You know what's crazy Jesus. what you're saying right now? Well, you wouldn't invest. I'm pro autism. No, most people, are trying, to, said nothing most bad people are trying to get rid of it. I'm like, stop curing it. More people need it. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'd be way more motivated because I, you know, we have a guy at the it's warehouse. It's a lot of work though. From the, other, can like, you imagine how fast our orders would ship if everyone in our warehouse had autism and was just like, I need to pack a box, I need to pack a box. <laughs> you right? don't you got, know if that's you what they're focused on. on this. You need to, you need to educate yourself. First of all, I, I think that was Tourette's. That was not <laughs> autism. <laughs> I, need I, need pack pack pack. I need to pack a box, I need to pack. No, but I mean like mentally, he doesn't say it out loud. In his head, he's like, I need to pack more boxes. That's not necessarily what their issue is But can you imagine that we would get so many government grants from Employing autistic so people. Stupid. I'm pro autism. Stop yeah. curing something. That's the next evolution of humans. We need to be more autistic. <laughs> so Jesus. Don't you think so? I need to pack a box. I need to pack a box. I was like, that's a lot of work. Yo, I'm going to tell you one thing. Geller was working for an autistic uh, company and they were driving a minivan in Jersey and they were in the middle of the highway. And this dude just ran out in the middle of the highway out oh, of the van no. and started running down the traffic. And then Geller ran out. I said, Jamie? He said, you guys ever watch Jurassic Park when he's talking to the dinosaurs and he puts yeah. his arm? He said, Jamie, Jamie, listen, listen. Get back in the van. That's how Wesley talks to Georgie. <laughs> Get back in the van. And Jamie's like, no, no. And he's like fucking no, 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 that's rubbing super, his no, dick. No, 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 no. That's, that, that's not autistic. That's what that's, 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 like, no. No, that's just, not autistic, dude. Yes, it is. You were worried about getting canceled. You're the one over here making fucking simple jacking it up. Bro. I'm just letting you know because you're over here talking about autism. I, I need a pack of box. I need to I think we need the. I think we need think. the. Cl- I think we need the clapper again. And start this <laughs> fresh. That's the you're autistic. Oh. You channel yeah, this it. episode I can think... only air on fucking <laughs> on Pornhub. Yeah, on whatever Alex <laughs> oh, Jones' website. Oh yeah, we can't have website. this on YouTube. <laughs> Yo, oh. I'm uh, telling you. 
But what were you originally going to start this conversation with? The conversation started with, I I don't remember. Oh, Martha Stewart, bro. Oh, Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we were, before we clapped the thing, we were brought up. um, Martha Stewart, see, the problem is this is, once again, uh, we should have had visuals. But guys, just Google it. Honestly, it's Martha. I'll have them put into Should the I video. look it up right now? No, no, no. Because I kind of want to see myself. I don't get it. I need to see a picture of her. What? Oh, see, I thought you meant yourself yeah, like in her. Up. So Martha Stewart is one of the covers of Sports, Sports Illustrated. Right. And if you're going to protest mm-hmm. Bud Light for appealing to a small demographic like trans people, how are we not boiling with hate that Sports <laughs> Illustrated swimsuit issue put a fucking grandma, great grandmother? We got a on lot more older people than this is, uh, I'm not I'm just, just but like, yo, right but who's this for? Old like, people. it's more like, what is it? Like a fake, like women, like we can overcome anything. There's a grandpa that. fluffing women to that. I understand that, but that magazine has never been about women empowerment. No, it's I know. been it's about been like, look appeal. at this fucking smoke show. I'll never get to fuck. Did you see it? That's the point. It's a glossy yeah, magazine. Yeah, like I'd she smash. looks like she's in fucking say. Orange County. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> Just waiting for her oh wine. Oh my god, that's amazing. She's like they photoshopped the fuck Do you guys? Her, do you guys find older people? that sexy? Like, I mean, as they no, that's this is how as they used to pose for photos when we first met. <laughs> come on, my baby. <laughs> come on, my darling. I no, used to give the worst. Wait, what? Este used to send the worst nudes. The worst nudes. I gotta, I'll pull them. I'll pull them. We'll add them to this video. Um, so Este, well, so it was not, not nudes. Sexy. So Este and I first started dating, you know, uh, I was used to dating younger women. Younger women are up with the times. They know how technology works. They know their angles. They know everything. Este grew up where like she had to develop film, right? <laughs> oh so like God. her whole family, <laughs> family photos I are on like slides, <laughs> right? She looks like she was in the Civil War. So Este, <laughs> when we first started dating, I was like, hey, you know, these are the things that kind of like turn me on, especially because I traveled so much. So it's yeah. nice to get like, you know, nudies from your girl. Este took some <laughs> photos. You know, the fo- you know, the style of photography. I'm going to describe it to you and you're going to know exactly. You ever been at Six Flags? Oh, my God. And the photo booth area where they're like, put on this old Victorian outfit and you guys all pose in front of a chair and you have this photo taken from like. She looks like she's from World War II, right? Este literally is, it was like a boudoir burlesque shoot. And burlesque is reserved for fat girls who can't strip, right? So it's just like Este. Burlesque could be sexy. Burlesque is never sexy. Oh my God, what is this? No, so Este's putting these nudes where she looks like she's in the Let's chair. The truth. She's in the chair and they're about to shower her. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like Not joking. But she's got heels and stuff. It's like baby pictures, but it's us. It's just so bad. <laughs> Such bad nudies. And but I had to I train her over time. Was, I thought that was like so sexy and that's I was like, yo, show me like your butthole. Like, I'm, do do you understand? I'm so desensitized. You're literally sending me like clothed photos would be sexy. But you also put her on the spot because she knows you're desensitized. So she in her head knows, like, damn, I got to do something crazy for him. I was so far off. Dude, that was the opposite of sexy. Yeah, it's kind of. I didn't realize like what got, what angles really like turned. Got, I was very. Which your profile angles weren't doing anyone any fucking favors, right? <laughs> you thought you thought it was like one of those like profile shoots for one of your like like shows a boudoir. For, like, a show, like, it was right? like a boudoir with my timer, self timer on oh, my wow. phone, and I'd put it up. In but the yo, kitchen. you gotta give anytime, her some credit for anytime someone says anything French when you're trying to be like. Oh, send me some nudes. And she's like, I sent you some boudoir photos. You're like, this is not. Oh, yeah, you got to give good. her some credit for. No, nudie should up never be show, artsy. Though. Nudie should never be artsy. They should just be raw. Well, raw. I want pussy lips spread. I want. Yeah, I was I just going to say, you should I probably want hit them with no thing. No way. Why not? I'm not putting that up there. Up where? You're sending it to me. Yeah. You can't just send me one of these. I don't need anybody these. getting your phone one day. For, no one's gotten my phone You ever. never know. My and then the, luck. Oh, and then your luck, someone's going to be like, oh my God, these photos of Este Maria. Who? And her vagina spread. They'd be like, yeah, Este, no you act like, vagi- like I can see a vagina that, at any moment. That is not. Then go and can you? I, you think? <laughs> I wonder if I could identify your vagina from a lineup. We should play that game. <laughs> or He's not. the best at making everything sound or nonchalant. You know what I mean? So, so to him, like, your would you recognize? Lips out would there? you recognize my dick in a lineup? Yes. Would you recognize my dick blindfolded in your mouth? 
What? Like if you have, <laughs> if we put three dicks in Estee's mouth, she's blindfolded. Maybe nose paint so she can't smell She'll the garlic. She'll know, you know why? Hands. Because of your fucking pheromones. <laughs> no, that's what I'm going to like. Nose pinched, no senses. It's only Probably feel. smell like dill pickles oh. and sausages. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. <laughs> what, are, what, are, what are dicks supposed to smell? And like? horseradish. Nothing. <laughs> what? To preferably. Why do you giggle like that? Hold on. What do you think no, no, your no, penis smells like? Do you get dick cheese? Yeah, of course. Wait, why did you ask me that? Because <laughs> I know you're not circumcised. It's a fromage. Well, well I'm not. It's the fromage. You know. the, it's, just, it's aged. It's, it's like aged, Gouda. It's aged of cottage cheese, girl. No, no, no. You're telling me. If, if you're telling me you have what? no, you're blindfolded, <laughs> your nose, ears, everything. It's as your only as senses as are feeling and three penises go into your mouth. Would you be able to pick mine out from a lineup? Yes. Uh, oh, why? Why? Because yeah, I know you? the girth. I know how long with like a blowjob <laughs> it takes to get to the base. It takes what base? I mean, what? the other base. I say it's not a mountain. The, the rocket. Like, oh, the base of the mountain. It's like literally it goes base. Yeah, head. but you're acting like he has the only <laughs> penis that hits the base. Yeah. No, no but no, no, I know saying, the length. Oh, so what is it going to be like? <laughs> press the fucking. This is like, is there more? <laughs> it's like blowing up a beach ball. So you're going to be right you gotta go past the belly fat you're saying oh okay. i call that okay. the clip bumper <laughs> okay i call that the clip bumper the clip bumper the clip you, bumper yeah you're welcome when you're on top you get a little bit of the like fat roll yeah, it's like when they you're have. bowling they put the, oh put the bumpers the on the friction it was called the clip bumper so yeah, and then Estee's hairy gut and mine, and it just turns into Velcro, and you put cum in between <laughs> that. It's like weeds. shellac. Any any veins on this one right here, or veins? Oh, we're talking about pigs in the blanket. Well, here. I think you need <laughs> veins in order to get blood. I have like the veins of a mini Snickers. So, because my shit's like pigs in the blanket. You yours are I mean? just yours is tight. You ever been to Sadell's? Yeah. Yes. You ever ate those little sausages inside the yeah. fucking dog? Yeah, you, yours is smooth. <laughs> yeah. No, it's you like gotta out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I could pick your pussy out in the lineup. All right. You think so? How would you know? That He's been to enough gonna... groceries. I yeah. know. He has. <laughs> yeah. In a blind one? How would I pick your pussy out in a blind one? How, we're just <laughs> tasting it? <You're> like, <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, that would just be um, an interesting test. But then I'd have to see you put dicks in your mouth. Yeah, Listen, I'd really guys. rather not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what's going on right now with, uh, what is that? Uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> what are you going to say? No, I was going to say something about the brand that Boar's Head. Boar's Head. I right. used to wear their sweatshirts. Weird. <laughs> As a kid, what I used for? to wear my bum equipment leggings with construction boots, like, Timberlands. Because you thought you were from New York. No, oh. I thought I was cool. And then I wore my big ass oversized boar's head meat sweatshirt with the boar Did on. Did you ever wear baby fat? No. No. That's crazy. I wasn't rich enough. It was too expensive. Academics? Yeah, she only had boar's head money. Yeah. <laughs> baby fat was sold in Marshall. Okay. At some point. I, yeah, but by then it was out of style. Juicy suits? I couldn't afford that. I would get. Shut up. I would get. You definitely had your I would definitely, is from the poor part of the Hamptons. Yeah. Which part of the Hamptons? East Hampton and Montauk. Yeah. So there was one kid in the club in Toronto, and he was like this uh, this black kid. And in we, where? In Toronto, we were in. I forgot. You say Taranto. Toronto, weird. Toronto. I forgot. Exactly. Taranto. <laughs> Taranto. Taranto. Tarantino. You know the Taranto. Cuban city of Taranto. Taranto. Anyway, right, sorry. Whatever. Go ahead. So this kid was in Toronto. <laughs> And we were in a club, and then we're like, yo, where are you from? Because he's like, yo, you guys from New York? And we're like, yeah. He's like, fucking East Hamptons, yo. Oh, God. I never seen somebody throw oh, up God. East Hamptons like that before in my life. Oh, he threw no. that shit up like it was Harlem. Yeah, you're not even Did in New York anymore. I didn't want to. Oh, man. <laughs> After that, I was like, homie, what? East Hampton, is that oh. the streets of Hampton? Like, I understand it's, if you say I'm from it's Brooklyn. Just East Hampton, but like, it wasn't like that growing up. That's we were, like, Hamptons a royalty, class. you know that, right? Yo, East Hamptons is fire, bro. I, now I, it is. It's not anymore. It's not? It's it bad? It so much better. Well, before it used to be the like tourists came. a beach town. She's talking about I can't afford Juicy, so she has a house in East Hamptons. I mean. No, we didn't have one. They owned a diner. <coughs> My grandparents Stop. A Greek owned diner? Don't cough Greek into diner the microphone, Esther. No one wants to hear that. What? Don't cough into the microphone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, listen, guys. Um, As, yeah. Um, so she can identify you and you can identify her. 
um as they oh um, anyway yeah can, i was wearing boar's head you know i didn't get a chance to uh since we're you know we're discussing as these embarrassing phases <clears throat> um i didn't have a chance to talk to your mom about getting footage for this episode but there's gonna be footage for another upcoming episode where we look at Estes uh most One of the famous most TV moments. appearances she's wow. ever had. Tell me. But you SA, haven't heard but, about it? Yeah, no, no, we're not going to discuss this until we have the footage to oh. back it up. But I'm just, if we're on the subject of that, mm-hmm. um, Estee, will you please tell the story Ugh. of when you almost shit the boat? Why does that have to come up in every single podcast and conversation? Why? It's a good story. Oh, you almost shit your pants? Oh. Shit the boat. What does that mean? Shit you don't the boat? shit. The number one rule is you don't shit on a person's boat. Why? Because <laughs> it doesn't have the proper plumbing. Why doesn't it just shoot it out into you the can't, water? It's illegal to. What? I, it's not illegal for it's me illegal to. It's illegal to th- like flush flush in po- like the ocean. But I can it has poop to be in the a ocean. Separate area. I can't poop in the ocean. Sure, you can. But why can't I use it via boat toilet? Have you ever shit in the ocean? Sure. That's what? Weird. You've never had to poop like out of the Wait, lake? Wait, excuse me? You <laughs> shit in a lake before? <laughs> yeah. That's fucking dirty, bro. So Yo, are you crazy? Gross. That Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? It's in the bushes, bro. Go, go in the fucking no, lake. I just go in the ground. Water what are you, and I just are you sick in the head? That's so weird. Float. Ew. You don't pee in the ocean? You're such an idiot. Do you That's never so shit? fucking You never weird. shot in the lake. Of course I would. You That's hands down. Most of my poops are liquid. But then what do you do when you want to wipe? You don't, you're in the water. Yeah, but you you're just you spread your cheeks and you just kind of. <laughs> then you get like kids lake making fun water. of me for shitting at my grandma's and wiping my ass with leaves. He's shitting in the fucking lake. You don't pee in the lake. <laughs> That's pretty gross. Bro, you, you do you piss already, in the lake? No, you don't you piss know in lakes. How hard and it is. To, no, first of all, you can get fucking. First off, you what, can the get pee holes open already. Gonorrhea. <laughs> the the, the pee holes you know? already open. Okay, but wait. So say you're swimming oh, you at the ocean. Skin, so you got extra layer of protection. Correct. Just take this visual. You're, this is you're the Guardians of the Galaxy. Shit. Why would I not shit in? If I have to poop, what am I going to just on. like shit on the beach and bury it? What beach? How There's about this? trees everywhere. How about this? You're no, it's easier to shit sh- in the water. Shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to talk. <laughs> so now you know what it feels no, like to have a baby. You're, you're <laughs> That's just hanging. That's what it's like to have a baby? <laughs> Are you guys fucking <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> so Val, um, when it's like when you finish. No. So imagine this, you're sitting in, you're like hanging out, splashing in the lake. La la la, this is so much fun, honey. And all of a sudden, <laughs> what the hell is that? I mean, Coney Island Beach in, in Brooklyn <laughs> yeah. is like that. Yeah. It's just like that. Well, what's no. the difference between yeah. seaweed and a little diarrhea? I've never seen poop roll up by uh, me. Come to Coney Island Beach in South that. Brooklyn. We'll show you a good time. Yeah. Ew. That's that you've never had. Oh, but people get like, um, yes. where when you have uh, scabies why is your arm red scabies oh it's the it's scabies. Like, it's no the <laughs> scalies what are scabies they? wait excuse me is love. it scape when you get what? like an infection scabies? underneath your skin and you're it, you start flaking and scabies i mean that sounds like it we're in, yeah I'm are you talking anyway. about some kind of disease or what? yeah so, if you're like exposed in the water staph infection <laughs> staph infection yeah maybe oh, yeah people it. get that in like lakes and shit right listen guys <laughs> so this segment is called Less Informed with us. It's Estee. called the Less Informed by All Three. Yeah, Estee is going to be um, making us. First of all, I can't believe you shat in the lake. What? That's Dude, weird. Why is that weird? That's you're weird. such a dirt, dirty kid for That's that. That's really gross. So I don't think we dirty. can be together. Well, you, you're, you're so what? dirty for that. I think I need to break up with you. It's literally filthy, bro. In Greece, I peed in the ocean. That's different. Why? Can, I pee in the ocean. So what's the difference between you got to go, you got to go? It's poop, correct? And also, it floats away. Honestly, That's gross. I People think it's better if you shat in, in the there. ocean than a lake. Sure, whatever. You oh got, yeah, lakes just. It's, That's na- That's just like so you don't stagnant. think fish poop in there? Fish poop. You never had goldfish? You had to clean up the this poop. This is like human fish. like chunks that. No, are... mine's diarrhea usually. I stay. Yeah, so then it went all, so all over you. So you're sitting in your own you. shit. Yeah. So the worst He's part is like you're like you were like in there... soup of shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you're like why are all these corn niblets floating by? Yeah. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> oh my god. And the way he shits is so crazy. How crazy is it? <laughs> Yo, you're such a nasty kid. I swear. <laughs> Yo, you're so. What's gross. wrong with shitting? In- that Dude, was a it's very David Tell thing you just did there. <laughs> now, Estee went to one comedy show this week, and now she's like, I know who David Tell is. 
Yo, that is really. That's gross. I don't understand it. What do people do before? And then where you? How did you swim out of your shit? Because you were in That's super so shit. That's so embarrassing <laughs> for you. So it was all over your skin. You're well, saying. I actually Ew. like to do it. I like to. I shit on my back so I can just float away. It's like a jet ski. I hope you're lying. You're, right like, now. you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> no, no, no. You pee this That's way, swimming true. forward. I always pee. I First pee. of all, you can't float on a lake like that. You go straight you're, down. It's not an ocean. There's no, no. salt in the lake. No, 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 no. So you're like talking about moving. floating. I'm moving, you idiot. Ugh. Like a what? Like a snow angel? Yeah. You don't know how to swim backwards with just your arms. You going like he this? He's Michael like Phelps this. and his shit. I, I was on the swim team growing up. Okay, I was on the swim team. I, the only one I suck at is butterfly. I don't yeah. even understand. I can't do butterfly. Why? Butterfly Who invented tough. butterfly? That's the least it's so energy stupid. efficient way to swim. Butterfly is very hard though. Like, but if you why, it's so why, bad on your shoulders. Like why? Who knew? It's good for your lats though. Who's uh. like? Let me make swimming harder. Yeah. Like, and you look like a fool you're when you're to, doing it. You're supposed to drag the water and then you kick. Whoop, Come back up, kick. Come back. I up. do that, but then I just drown. Yeah, it's like just you just get more yeah, shit water. Saying, so much work. He's saying he's over here like this. Yeah, I yeah, know how to like so a can do this. I could do this. Right? No, I get that. How yeah. did you seriously? What was your positioning when you actually shit in the lake? Like this. I'm so you, you go like this on their back, and then when you're peeing, you're I always say this. So I'll prove it to you next time I do it. Wait, next time I do it. Next time I do it, I'll take. No, you pull your pants down by your butt where so it could and potentially go back into your shorts it's all washes off as that you're in water the whole time washes off where <laughs> are you an idiot when you, you mean, mean that means you would have to literally go like this with your hands to wash <laughs> it off it's a giant That's body of water dude. you're you're basically saying that all of a sudden <laughs> I you're out. asshole i swim out i'm not like in the surrounded by people i go like oh well, look i'll be the guy in bro Ew. Yo, you had chunks of shit in your ass. Yesterday you told me you need baby wipes to wipe your ass. So that right there. Yeah. Yeah, but where am I going to baby wipe at the beach? What do I do? Correct. He's literally so gonna you had to have a, yes. a handful of shit after you wiped your ass. 100%. That's what you have. Wait, hold on. Hold me. <laughs> Don't bring this shit to me. I wipe my ass in the forest with leaves. That's, That's grosser. Different. Yeah, I but could that, step on that. But at least I, I could step on that. Shit on my ass. Did after. you do it in the wilderness? That's the no. I did it. Someone's front yard. You're at Coney Island Beach. <laughs> no, not anymore. It what was would in you Ukraine. Do I wet my ass like that. Yeah, yeah. I would if I if I was on the Coney Island Beach. I would go to a porta potty or like a little bathroom in the back. You exactly, don't have any of those like a available. normal person. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do you need help? You're just <laughs> you're at the you beach crazy? and you got a shit. You're autistic. You shit <laughs> all over yourself. I don't know what's <laughs> at the lake. Dude, I've shot myself plenty of times. As they, I I've sharted myself still, by accident. Yeah, I I pooped and then sharted. I Ooh. thought I clean, had clean pipes once. You pooped and then you sharted. I was so at a came, Thanksgiving was, dinner at yeah. a friend's house, at Ben's house. And I went to poop in his basement. This kid's a lake creature. <laughs> I went to poop in his basement. I couldn't find a body of water, so I just went in the toilet. Um, and I pooped. you're a lagoon creature, bro. That's what you are. I'm gonna call. So you. I pooped in in the bathroom, and then I get right, up, what's... and I'm like, "All right, that was good." And then I'm dressed. I'm back in my outfit. My pants are back on. My underwear's back on. I walk out the bathroom door. I'm still downstairs. Everyone's upstairs eating, <laughs> oh, no. and I'm like, "Ooh, I'm gonna fart." And I fart and I shit my pants. <laughs> So now I got to get naked. And now there's nowhere to throw out these underwear. I can't just leave them behind. There's only eight people upstairs oh and no God. one's wearing like fucking, you know, Batman underwear. So <laughs> I. Oh, you at sneak, that point you were worried that someone's. I had to, sneak, I had to sneak the poopy underwear <laughs> upstairs and I had to pretend to grab something from the car and I just threw it. I forget where. But then the whole night, my fucking little dickhead kept touching my uh, zipper and it was just cold. Because I had no protection anymore. My underwear was gone. So I shit my pants at a family party. Did you stink Me up too. everything? No, no, no. no. I, my I underwear contained it all. How old were you? The 16, 17. <laughs> wow. Maybe older, probably. You're a creature, bro. What's wrong? No, it's No, great. I mean, people shit no, themselves. I, sh yeah, I, sh I, I actually haven't shit myself. I, I was very myself. close. Tell very the boat close. story. I can't tell the boat story now. Why? Because didn't you say I have to wait until you get no, in? No, the boat story. Oh, okay. If you're um, listening and you, you want to hear the story in the best possible fashion, please spark up. Me? No, them at home, but you also. Oh. And now try to tell the he story. He wants everybody to have the best experience. Yeah, because this is about to be oh. Estee's finest work. Mm -mm. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no. Now... <laughs> 
Okay, no, Jada Kiss, can we just give me? No, you gave me so much pressure. Okay, do you want me to set it up? Please. So I say he's on a date with a one-armed man. <laughs> so my, my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> yes. Oh, it was my first date. Yes. You guys really are trying to find... Find what? Love on the spectrum. <laughs> yeah, you before, found me, each other. before me, Estee dated Here. a guy with one arm. One hand. It's crazy. He, he had a you one found hand. yourself a lagoon creature. <laughs> <laughs> he had a one hand. I, I was going to kill it no matter... Anyone was better. Sorry. Oh, my God. Some would say he single-handedly ruined that relationship. Oh, my God. He's literally... Oh, my God, on, look on at me. his last arm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, can we, can we get this going? Don't oh, be scared. Seriously. Don't be shy. They he wouldn't just let literally him in, they told us let him he swims in, in shit once in a while. <laughs> they wouldn't let him in the army. This isn't that embarrassing. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm almost, like, forgetting it now. No, no, so, no. I was dating this guy, or I went on a first date with this guy. And we were supposed to go on a like sunset cruise on a on his boat, and um, I'm lactose intolerant, so I really should not eat there. like a lot of cheese right. and stuff. <laughs> so we went, ended up going to this place called like Kiki's, and it's like on this island as you're driving, but it's only like by boat. So. Um, and then we were you guys took our a friends boat. back. You guys took a boat to this restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on. So the this boat. dude had a little money. Yeah, a little bit. And one arm, a little bit of money. money. <laughs> Definitely might have been a little better than yeah, you. Probably got, paid, <laughs> probably got paid on that. So one. we yeah. got we got to this place, and of course my like I have no um, words. Uh, <laughs> Wait, excuse me. I you just lost me already. Uh, so, Este, what she's trying to say, I'll okay. translate this to <laughs> you guys, you. anyone listening. So, Este takes a boat with this rich guy with one hand, Ugh. and uh, um, Este's lactose intolerant. So, on this boat ride, uh -huh. um, they pull up to this restaurant, and she uh, has no self-control. Right. And, of course, the only things that are appealing to her are pasta, like anything with pasta and... The one that I wanted was penne alla vodka. So, you know, the deadliest. It has a lot of dairy, dairy in it. Right. it and I knew better. I was like, don't do that. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? Because I have no self control. But come on. And I love pasta. Did at no point in you? your head. This was like 23 years old. How long is this boat ride to the island? It's crazy. You still look 23. Maybe I was 27. Jesus. Wait, how long is the four year jump? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? This was 12 years I really, ago. Really? It was before you. Obviously. How <laughs> would yes. that make sense? Yeah. So I wanted to say three hours. <laughs> no, but it was before you. So before you. about seven years ago. <laughs> I mean, a lot about of About seven years ago. I mean, to get this <laughs> safe. For you, there's a lot of things before him. <laughs> How long did. <laughs> and I was dating him for about five years. You dated the hook hand for five, five years? Five years. Jesus. What was that then? Hmm. What, what age am I? At five years point. and then you were single for a year so that's six years we've been together six 12 years ago you were 30 27 uh, 82 <laughs> what uh you're 27 years old okay so yeah 27 years old 27. how long is this boat ride it's about like 45 minutes okay go so then we were driving we ate the penne alla vodka and then we were going to go back and drop there were four people with us so we were going to drop them off and then him and i were just going to go and have like a sunset cruise. And he was, he's like, I'm gonna probably yeah. like finger her. With yeah, the, like that's the guy with the bow. A guy or, with the bow. Know. Did you worry about the hand at all? Did no. you say anything you about the hand? You knew about the arm right? already? No. You didn't acknowledge the hand? You of all no. people did it in your well, autistic I ways? Asked him, well, I asked him before that. He had a prosthetic arm? He had, no, he had. <laughs> so I was just like, I saw <laughs> you, he, no, he, he had like a. It was just like a little fucked up. Looked like hand. a penis. And they had like scars and stuff. And so I'm sitting in the car with him. I think it was like one of the, it was early in the, whatever. It was like a day, the first day I met him. <laughs> so he picks me up from the bus stop and. What? He picks me up from <laughs> no, 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 rewind. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Back up, y'all. Oh, hold one on, one second. <laughs> what you talking one, about, Willis? A one-handed. <laughs> picks you up from the bus stop. What fucking bus <laughs> stop <laughs> are you talking about? Yo, what bus stop? stop? <laughs> are you fucking good? You're working hold a on. bus stop and there's a one-handed <laughs> man on. that pulls up yeah. on you. Oh, no. One bus stop? Where did that even come from? I'm not even... I'm confused. Yo, yeah, yeah, go to the bus stop. What happened? What? Why are you backing up even more now? What happened at the bus stop? 
Why did you? Oh, that's when I stop? first like met him. At the we, were ta- we were talking, I guess. Ah, things are a little vague. Wait, <laughs> right you took now. a greyhound to see this guy? <laughs> what you took f- a bus took a, to see a one man. Hampton Jitney. We were. I came over, and that's it, when I first met him. Yes. So that date happened a little after, like a day or two after. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Why were you at the bus stop? Because I came. Oh no. I'm so <laughs> what do you mean where did you come and what bus stop so did you he take? texted me and he's like you should come and hang out with us this weekend and i okay. was like okay i'm gonna get on the bus he was definitely using and I, talk to text he's like you can have my room and i'll sleep in like the living room or something like that mm, classic, it was, like, move, one of those, classic move was this his parents house? A hotel room with two beds but right. you know like yeah right. but he's so, trying to make you feel whatever. i was like cool i can just have like a Your hampton's own- trip and i can like have a free place to crash. Okay, cool. Let's do this. So I got you on just the- went. I get a free place to crash <laughs> from a one-armed guy. He knew he's getting laid because you're taking a bus. Yeah, he's season. at home making the mashed potato scary movie style. Oh, God. Right. Yeah, this guy is. <laughs> this guy is. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. He's like, I can't wait to have a human. So anyway, he's tasting the sauce like this. Look. <laughs> All right. Oh. Can't wait to have the human in my lair. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so gonna anyway, fucking fit there with this. He picked me up, and I'm just and I noticed the first thing I notice is his arm, and so I'm just sitting there, and I just say, "What's your worst scar you have? I'll show you mine." You had scars. And I have just like this one. That tattoo? Well, from like Where? a scratch from your cat or something? No. <laughs> a plate went in my arm as a kid. Oh, okay. I fell okay, off my chair, like the high chair. Then we'll and discuss her child abuse later. And I got this scar. So okay. it's like very minimal compared to what he obviously has. Super smart has. to not put the tattoo over the scar. It's a great thing to scar. ask. It's a great thing to ask. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just put the tattoo over the scar instead of just attracting attention to that area and us going, ew, what's that next to Let me to ask that? you. Hold on. So was this your way to ask him what happened to his arm? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like asking like a like, paraplegic, like, so what happened? Because I have my toe. I stubbed it. <laughs> and so like, what happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> but I was just very direct. I was like, I have this scar. What's your story? I was like, what's your worst scar? He didn't and even cover it up. He didn't wear gloves. No. I would he only was just date like in really the winter confident about it. And I mean, it's not like, it's just the first thing, but a lot of people didn't even notice. And what until, did you say? Did you ever cookie says, pasta one day? No. <laughs> like, what do you say? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even. I'm... You don't remember what <laughs> oh. the story is? Behind oh, yeah. The arm? Yeah, yeah. So he's got the story. arm. So uh, we're on our way back. We <laughs> drop our friends off. <laughs> okay. On the boat. And we're about to go into the sunset. Okay. And anchor up. Oh. So. Are you worried this hand's going to be inside you? No. There's not a hand. Because if he chooses the wrong hand, would you have been Because immediately. Like... As we dropped the friends off, my stomach goes, I was like, oh no. Oh, wow. Oh Oh, no. I see, okay. And I was like, I shouldn't have eaten that pasta. I should have known better. And then it was, I was like, maybe this will pass. Was that induced by your anxiety for the fact that he might finger you with his arm? Well, I had IBS at that time. I had IBS. (laughs) What do you mean at that time? So I got like nervous and I'd be like, I'd be on stage. I'd be like, I have to get off stage and poop. And I just literally leave midway song. Okay, okay, keep going. (laughs) Why did you just throw your girl under the bus? (laughs) Oh, my girl's for (laughs) too. Uh, So I was like, I'm saying we have a lot in common, me and you, except I'm not a fucking lagoon from the creek. (laughs) So (laughs) sorry, my girlfriend and I choose to defecate wherever we please. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So it reminded me also back to a day when I almost shit on a boat. What? There's multiple times? <laughs> There's another one. There's two? Yeah, we did a like sunset Go back cruise. to the original oh, story. <laughs> okay, so where do we leave off? Your, your stomach's gurgling. Oh, yeah. And we anchor up and I just turn white. Like, you mean, oh, you anchor up for the sunset. Yeah, so we're anchored up and my stomach's already like... <laughs> I was like, oh... No. And he thought this was and the season, season started, finale of, of Lagoon Creature. And then I was like, <laughs> it's just white, completely uh-huh. white. My hands are starting right. to sweat. I'm like, oh no. Right. And I go, hey, uh, has anybody ever, like, where's your bathroom? Do you have one in oh, here? Oh, he has a boat with a bathroom. You're like, yeah. hey, has anyone but ever shat themselves while they're getting but fingered the on your boat? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? He's like, yeah. What are you wearing? What? What are you wearing? I don't fucking remember. Okay. You I remember taking the was, bus. I'm sure you remember that. I was, in like, we were in, I was white. in like shorts or something. I don't okay. know what the hell I was in. I was, it was normal. Um, so, um, where? See, 
so so he's you're like hey do you have a bathroom oh yeah and he's like yeah but nobody's ever used it why what's going on i was like well i may have to just pee really quick or i don't know yeah definitely and then yeah yeah, i was like i think i just i just need to pee and he's like oh no it's fine i just got to get the cushions because it's underneath where the cushions and the bed is. So there's like cushions here and it's covered. Sounds like Val's house in the Ukraine. <laughs> and it's, yeah, literally. And it's covered it's so toilet. you have to take yeah. underneath the cushions. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something's going on. And it's a, it's a super small, I mean, it's not that big of a boat. So everything's really condensed and you have to like duck to go in and they have just like a little bathroom or a little toilet. Put the cushions over and I was like, yeah, we could do that. And then it's just like, clock, 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 clock. I was like, oh no. I was like, so can you like make that a little quicker? Because I actually think I need to go to the bathroom. And then I, I actually want to go right and now. And then I literally, to this. Yeah. I swear. And then I was like, oh my God, oh my God, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit myself. And I was like, looking over, I was literally about to <laughs> jump overboard and shit and, ocean so i was I'm literally sorry <laughs> i'm sorry i told you better in the ocean oh, than the lake i'm yeah. sorry <laughs> i've cut out the middleman no. i don't need nah, to hit nah, a boat i don't want to hear well, this there's is a different. Line kids wiping his ass this with his is f- fingers i'm this going is direct to consumer this is different and you know these kind of poops that are going to come out the knife? force it's going to come out yeah, force. yeah. And so I'm like, he's this still is not going to end well there's no music there's nothing happening it's just just imagine you're just on the boat and it's like I say it's on a That's toilet the on a boat of a one-armed man. I almost, I almost just fainted listening to this. <laughs> you're just on the boat, and all you hear is just water. Someone and needs like to animate the, this, and just Go. like the beat of the boat. And I'm like, oh god, like he can't even put the power on with like the radio. And I had just like seen anything, so I started uh, knocking on the doors. So on I the wall. This place haunted. <laughs> I, I poop, <laughs> and I'm spraying, <laughs> and I'm spraying WD-40 as a scent repellent <laughs> Bro, there was nothing you're else so you're i'm lying. spraying this On and he pokes his spraying? head and he's like is everything okay i was like pokes everything is that easy fine. What is yes. it? but where <laughs> yes. are you spraying it into into the no, toilet my like, precious around are you the done? door because when i open up the door it's not going to be good and then he says whenever you just wipe just take like one ream at a time and i was like oh my god okay Why? Because you can't flush it. Ugh. Like, it, it can't clog. So I was like, okay, that's fine. And then, so I do that, and I'm, like, pressing the button to flush it. Nothing's happening. How I'm big like, of a duty are we talking? And I'm like... How big of a duty? It's, like, that cup? Was, like, how much? Show me on that cup. Hold the cup up. They can't see it Like, the I don't know how much this equates to. Hold it up to the... They can't see it in the... Oh, pull, sorry. Okay. So that much poopy is in that toilet? So probably so let me ask you so you had a bunch of shit stuck in this toilet you have wd-40 leaking all over the fucking door yeah. you got a one arm guy, guy on the and you deck. got a one arm guy that you're afraid that he might make a move on you but you got shit all over your ass <laughs> so i was you got more, crust in your I ass was, he goes oh no i forgot that i had to open up the valve i was like okay so tell me where it is and he's like it's underneath you i have to crawl underneath you to get in you won't Unity. be able to get it i go no 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 and i was like oh um you know uh i uh, that's gonna be really bad i was like no this is not good and so he crawls underneath me with one arm he's, he's with, just got what, he's like, porcelain let me just, and his and your and feces he's on, and he's opening it up and i'm sitting on top of him as I'm on the towel, I was like, this is not real. This is not real. This is not real. And I'm like, please don't breathe. because <laughs> Did you say hold your breath? breath. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. He said, but oh. yo, I guess a guy with a one arm is ready to do whatever <laughs> at this point, right? Yo, it's tough in the street. It's tough out here, uh, baby. He's trying to get a little Ligazi, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe he's he wants, into that thing. He wants he feeds you he wants what you you're to look not at his shit. Yeah, he's like, yo, like I'm gonna make sure those bitch shits. My toilets are right. clogged. We hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my right God. there was that your moment he comes up like from wait hold on like, one second pause up <laughs> hold on let's run it back real quick uh, so you're you're sitting on the toilet butt naked he opens the door he sees you're you you're telling naked. me Este he's got one working arm you have two on the toilet you couldn't fucking quick, 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 I didn't know where it was he literally had a crawl underneath me and I wasn't about to 
it was just very weird. <laughs> really? <laughs> it was a very so what happened? Weird first so what thing. happened? He so fixed like, it? So like he fixes it and I'm like at the end and he did what you're not supposed to do. He flushed it. Flushed it. Yeah, I mean. And he goes, oh my God, look, it's your poop. And I'm like. Or Kirill's. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. This is oh not real. God. And then He's we like, just like made uh, light of it. It's like a fucking <laughs> little lake of <laughs> fucking uh, shit. Vodka, yeah. <laughs> and then he just like made it funny where like it wasn't any pressure and we at just that point you were like you night. can fuck me i was just like whatever, i guess right? this guy's a keeper because he accepted me on this awful first date right right and then his whole hand is like my precious <laughs> oh my god my girl so started breaking down crying about her parents on our second date hmm? and i didn't even know what happened we were eating tacos she's just like my mom <laughs> and he starts crying and i'm like what happened she's like i love my mom i'm like wow I found that very attractive. You know, that's crazy so because to, if I did that, oh. it would be the scariest thing ever. Correct. Right? If I dude is like, this guy has issues. I love my mother. <gasps> yeah, my, my girl. Like, I don't know what I, I would do I if that. I saw that. Yeah. You love it? Yeah, because I'm like, wow, she loves her parents. She respects her parents. She's a good. Are you upset keeper. that I'm not more emotional? Because mm, I'm not very emotional. No, but you've cut, you're kind of, you're trainable. What does that mean? You're like Georgie. So like eventually. Wow. Trainable? Uh, you, you, you're, you're trainable mobile. as in like you've learned at least to know what I like. And so that's fine. Right. You don't have to be as emotional, but there's certain emotional things I like that you now do. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> like you used to be like a terrible reciprocator. Oh, yeah. Right. And anything, whether it's like we would celebrate all of Estes like milestones or highlights. Yeah. And then it'd be like. Nothing for you, Carl. Yeah, I'd be like, what, <laughs> bitch, what do you like? How about? Yeah. I'm having something happen that I'm proud of. Yeah. And then eventually she's like, oh, yeah, like I get that. You know, it, there's a lot of. There's a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. We had we had a couple of like more. run-ins like that too in my house. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> oh, <what>? But listen. <laughs> This guy, kids are a little creature. Like, you're wanna, releasing uh, feces yeah, into the fucking ocean. Yeah, we're meant for each other. There's a shithead. Oh, I don't yeah, care that you're weirdos. Uh, do you care that I'm emotional? No, I like prefer you be like the emotional one and not me. I'm trying to get like a little softer, but. But I feel like you are. You just don't show it really. You're pretty girly. I am? Yeah, I think you're pretty girly. Hmm. Like you're not tough. Like you're fake tough. Like you. You. Hey, I'm tough. Not right now. You. She's always claims how fucking tough she is. But <laughs> she's literally scared. Scared of everything. Yeah. I am scared of everything. Dude, our garage door was open oh. the other night. Oh, haven't slept. That's in they hasn't 24 hours. slept in 24 hours, and because we walked out, and she's like, "Our garage door is open." It was like you didn't see it <laughs> opened I, when you I didn't, left. I didn't see it. Yeah. I didn't the next see when I got morning, there. it was open. I'm I didn't like, see when I got yes. there. So we're getting a new garage door. And then I couldn't find my... Uh, so you guys are getting a new garage door? Yeah, because she's petrified that someone... Who I opens the garage? So, and We have my, cameras. We my, have cameras. Uh, well, are you guys crazy? No, my garage opener was in my car, and now it's not. So I feel like anybody could just access it and then come in. See, this is the problem with white people. You guys leave access <laughs> well, you're to white your houses... Too. It, yeah, but I'm like Brooklyn White. It's different. Mm, um, so you look, uh, so you guys <laughs> leave access to your shit inside the cars thinking that you guys, oh, Sherman, oh, oh, oh. Every, I like, mean, to be fair, our back gate is always open. Yeah, that's well, all I'm trying to say. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not, Kirill. Who's listening to this? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yes, okay. Uh, um, you guys yeah. are crazy, though. Why? You can't leave your stuff in the car. Lagoon fucking shitters you too. I am pretty trusting of everything. Why? I don't know. I see the good in a lot of people. Yeah. He really I, is. I hear you, bro. I'm more of a reality. <laughs> I hear you on that one. I'm more reality check. What? To yeah. me? To me. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm. You guys, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Again. Oh, listen. See, I'm going to tell you guys one is. thing. Yeah. You're going to look better than Martha Stewart. Thank oh you. yeah, is that where this all started oh, from? Yeah. yeah, and fucking Martha Stewart. Yeah, you see what happens. You guys need you, you guys need people like me. So we yeah. need a mediator. Keep tabs on the fucking on the stories here. He's fucking. He's What's shitting in the with, fucking lake. What's wrong? With you that? are pretending Almost. not to shit in the lake, but you are technically I shitting technically in the lake. I technically did, and that's probably honestly. You owe that guy a hand job. Someone was in my hand. 
<laughs> you owe him a leg job on the hand. You should have been like, can I lick your hands? Like, What's wrong? <laughs> okay. Did he get handsy? Oh, my God. You when? still talk to him? No. You should. Hell no. You should follow him on Instagram after this episode. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Um, nah, but yo, all jokes aside, um, shitting yourself and not being aware of it is, is it's... Do you shit yourself too? I've shot myself, yeah. It's, it's I could see that to be you. in the ocean. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what do you mean? Because you could see that for me. <laughs> it's written on my face, isn't it? <laughs> um, no, yeah, shitting yourself is tough. I've I, I've had a lot of emotional trauma with shitting myself in Ukraine, at a wedding, on a boardwalk. It's 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 not. Pleasant. How often does this happen? Is this, uh... It's happened like three times. I'm a three-time guy. But you mentioned a lot of cities in there. <laughs> no, different circumstances, different countries. Please uh, pay attention. Uh, well, I was trying to get a, a shitting passport. Oh. I'm trying, yes. More stamps. See, you guys, don't, you guys only got one. Like, I still don't. I don't know about that story. In your fucking like, you know what we should do? We should do, we should do an episode. We should try to do an episode of us three e- eating like Indian food. No way! Why would I ever Are subject you myself to that? Absolutely. I'm allergic and then, and then, to and then we wear Indian diapers, food. and then I'm we good, wear bro. diapers. I, and then we wear diapers, and we can't leave ter- this room for eight hours. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn idea. the temperature up to a hundred, and we're gonna sit in here. That should be a reality TV show. We show who That's can. Awful. No, no, no. And I will put a thousand dollars cash in the middle for whoever is the last man standing. I'm not doing that. No way. I'm going to be the first one out. So I'm not, I know I'm not winning. $2,000. I don't give a fuck. I'll no, shit in the diaper. I'm, Two grand. No Two grand. Way. I will, I'll shit in the diaper. Because I know I'll be <laughs> I'm not first. I'll you to shit the diaper. Yeah, but I would do it. Just you, guys will, <laughs> yeah. you guys will out shit me. What? I will not. It's just who's going to. Are you shitting s- me? Are you? <laughs> oh. You wouldn't compete. No, because I would be the first one out. I wouldn't win. No matter what, as soon as it no, just you can touches my tongue, I'm shit. throwing up s- and pooping at the same time. <laughs> Did you just come for panda me just now? Yeah, yeah. I'm what, like, you could <laughs> stay, it's, as long as you stay in the room. I'm not shitting myself <laughs> and hanging out with you guys after. I feel like bro, how much putting. how much money would that take? I feel like I Asian people shit that. differently. Yeah, I don't care. It's I not about wanting. I, it's like two how grand much cash. Would it, money would it cost two me? Grand I need two hundred thousand dollars. What? What the fuck? You. Yeah, literally. That's my price. You do it for five grand. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So we can bring it down to five hundred. Yeah, <laughs> easily five hundred dollars. Yeah, if you, you garage see, door. If, no, five hundred bucks, you do it. You guys, this has been an episode about pooping. A haircut. <laughs> yeah. uh, for for all the autistic kids uh, who are listening, as they oh, another the, thing about autistic people, they just should whatever they feel like it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I have nothing to apologize. It's a disease. <laughs> What is the disease? <laughs> PBS kids? <laughs> no, my P- I had to go to the. I had to get a little Wait. bit of special ed. Oh, Estee was in special ed classes, by the way. I yeah. got extra time. She was in ESL. And I she, got was, ex- she was in ESL. No. I was in ESL. She too. was in ESL. She was born <laughs> in America. I was in ESL, but I wasn't born in America. I wasn't in ESL. <laughs> I was just in like extra. Uh, they. She rode the special bus to school in case. She I did not. Eli. <laughs> extra <laughs> gifted <laughs> and extra nicked out. My brother did, not me. No. I was in the normal Estee's bus. The gen- and my Estee's brother- the genius in the family. <laughs> <laughs> my brother was like, "Mom, why am I going on the?" Like the different bus, and they are. Oh my god! I felt. Your, your I had no on the idea. Bus with potential school shooters. I had no idea. Did you have tennis but, balls at the base of your desk? We did not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I just needed extra time on my tests and a proctor to like read to me. <laughs> CPL people that are born in America. Are my just sister was dumber. deaf and didn't have that. Uh, your you sister's see? a genius. But you see, kids that are born in America. Russians. Your their like work ethic yeah. and like your parents are so strict about Good. education. It's Good. awesome. It's amazing. It's awesome. That's how it should be. Let's get it going. I took advantage. Was Chinese it? people. That's why Chinese how, people. How lax was your house about education? It, my mom was chill. My mom was chill. She was like, "You don't." You're not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> what were just, you? What were you good but at? I was literally in five at? music classes a day. What were you good at? Uh, I was, they just tried to keep you occupied. <laughs> I was in five music classes because they're like, she can't take a language, just 
Check can. You would learn math English. on one of those boards with like fruits and shit like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> you would go five bananas. No, no, no. Do you, know those, you, know, you know those toys at the dentist office for kids when they had to like run the loops? <laughs> that Correct. was essays. I was already doing was algebra at fucking six months old. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Uh, we were playing chess had, in like four. We were playing chess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're over here measuring how many apples you have. I'm like playing 16. dominoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's these coloring the lines. Yeah, I was not a very good student. So I had five music classes, and that's why I got in high on that all that. That's off. how I got into Berkeley. It's just because I was in like so many music classes. And oh, I you got went, great you got recommendations. Berkeley? Yeah. College I went music. there for, tw- for two years. Oh, and so I was, but I had to pay 150 grand for just. Oh, Ber- they, so then Berkeley's not even that good of a I school. Just paid, <laughs> yeah, I just paid. Yeah. I just paid off all my student loans. It's $150,000. I finally paid it off. It took you how long? It took me like 23 years. Girl, you're almost halfway into the graveyard. And you're yes, just finished paying for it. The student loans on a degree you never got. For a not medium, you it. don't even pursue anymore. It was, a, it was fun so to have So what's your my, advice? What's your I advice? I needed what's to your have advice? my college experience of like partying. <laughs> I got that out of my system. Yeah, it cost 150 grand and 20 <laughs> years of your fucking hard-earned money, but I'm glad you got that out of the way. Just made me work extra hard back in New York then. I was like hustling. How were you hustling? Were you hustling like a, a Russian or were you hustling like an East Hamptons guy? I had a, uh, <laughs> no, I had a full-time job that I worked pretty much seven days a week. And then I was in like six bands. Oh, you were So on weekends. So I would do every Friday, sometimes doubles. Sometimes doubles on Saturday, like two weddings or two events, like a 90. How much money do you think you made a week? How old are you and you're living in the city? Uh, where I have that? Yes. Um, I was probably making, I can tell you like a year. No, just give me a week. Like what, oh, what are the, how much like, you getting paid? You're doing like six gigs. 2,500 bucks. A week? A week. Cash? With the job. The day With the job. job too. How old are you? I was probably 31. Back 31 years old. Good. 30, 30, 30. Back then. Back then <laughs> when 30, soda was a nickel. 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, 10, 10 years ago. No, I was 10, 10 years ago. I was, in that, I was in that job yeah, for 30. Yeah, that's good money, bro. Yeah, you were making about Why one, is that bad 125? money? No, 50, what, 2,500 no, making, times 52? Bro, you were making good money back then. Yeah, you were making yeah. about 125 grand. Right now, up, you know how much that is? That's 200 something Making thousand. like 175. Dude, as a single girl. 175. 175 as a single girl. That's good money, bro. But I didn't have a life. And that's why I was like, I didn't have a life. I had no social life. So I was just literally working every day because I was like money hungry. I was like, I need to save, I need to save, I need to okay. save. And okay. yeah, let's say that's what made up all nighters. Yo, for working so that made, hard, for you me look to quit. like Was that a shameless plug? Much. Oh, yeah. On your skin, your I'm saying. For what? working that hard, your face doesn't look like you were. She also face planted once in New York. I did? Tripped you face too? plant? You said you, you face you planted when you had your fucking heat strokes. Oh, yeah, I fell all Can the time. Can you imagine? <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, this girl's so accident prone. Yeah. She overheats like I'm an old she like overheats like a fucking old car. <laughs> yeah. Really? No joke. Look, if I'm in the heat, Toyota. if I'm in the heat, I get heat strokes all the time. So Curl's witnessed three I, of them? I've caught her three times. Like yeah. you gotta like so what do you do? sometimes yeah. I literally like, just the hearing goes, no vision, and I just collapse. I did that to him three times. You might have Asperger's. No. <laughs> yeah, I might have to diagnose you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but she did it yeah. once when she was just walking in the city. You're like, yeah, face planted, and I ended up getting a <laughs> oh concussion. And I worked that night. I went to drove to Philly, and I performed concussion in a bar. Gang. I've had some too. I was like, Dang. I'm not done. I have to work. I need to make money. I can't cancel on this gig. Drove to Philly <laughs> with a fucking cuts, concussion. Cuts I had literally gravel in my face. It's crazy. Implanted. Dude, well, you're like I, a real rock star at that point. So. I was like, I need to make money. I was. Yeah, fucking. that's why she's so fucking broken now. I don't think I'm going to make yeah. this flight. Why? Huh? What time is it? Boarding 325. It's it's one o'clock. Think All right, I'll make it? so let's wrap it up. It's been an hour. Okay. Val's got to catch a flight back to New York. Yeah, guys. Yeah. That's the only thing. B- what? I need to shit. Why'd you just stop? <laughs> you gotta He's got shit. He's such I a fucking shit. liar. The coffee? I got shit. The co- the stupid All right, Al's got a shit. Cut the episode. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking done. Yeah, I have right, IBS, PBS clap kids. It. Just I don't clap know. it. Just clap, clap it. it. Make it clap. Episode's over. <laughs> <laughs>